It's my man, Island Time! His name's Dirk. Oh, Dirk and Derek, see? We're Cruise Brothers. Carnival makes several announcements, additions, price changes, and brings back. Yep. Sounds like a jam-packed Island Time. On Carnival, we'll take the news. A blockbuster news day yesterday into the evening from Carnival as they announce several different things from food to Wi-Fi to a hint at priority boarding they share wow. it all and we're going to share it with you right now on Island, Island Time. Time. A big happy Saturday to all you Islanders. I hope you have a restful, peaceful, me. football filled, food, fun, family, friends, football, all of it filled Saturday. I hope you're relaxing. I thank you for stopping by the show today. Beckett and I kicked off our football season early. I'm going to say he's Alabama. He's got an, Al- he's got an Alabama fan voice. You can hear him going roll tide. He's going to no, be killing me if he's not. He's not. I- <laughs> David live in like Arkansas or Missouri. This morning, the team, of course. Here's a picture. Sorry, His little team, Aww. cute little kiddos, flag Looks football. Like they got down. the win, 27 to zero. We had fun, but now we're here. The rest of the day, we're going to watch, of course, some Razorback football. Okay, he's uh, Razorback. He's now he's really and I have bad. been so busy this week. I have to thank Stacy, Lori, Richard, Dorothea, Mary, Tracy. We've been working with you guys. We've booked most of you from Australian cruises to European cruises to right here. And let me tell you this, if you're looking at cruises this weekend, you want to book, don't wait to book a cruise with someone Monday. Let us know, send us an email at travel at bookislandtime.com. Literally, we will work on it today. I remember that. He was talking about that a few weeks ago. They finally got their travel. Congratulations. Let's talk about cruising and cruise news. Carnival had a huge day yesterday. I mean, they had a big week, really. I'll be honest with you. They announced several things coming back. People were excited. There's still some outstanding questions. We'll get to priority boarding. But it looks like they're they're handling a lot of these questions that people had about when are certain things coming back. And yesterday, they announced a lot of these things. First thing they announced yesterday, which is controversial, is room service. Room service changes taking place October the 1st. Here's what's going to happen with room service. You're going to enjoy your complimentary free room service at breakfast time. It's going to stay 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. If you want that coffee, if you want the danishes and the muffins, uh, maybe some fruit, it's going to be free. You're going to, going to be able to enjoy that. Well, thank at, God they didn't get rid of that. 10 a.m. Okay. From 10 a.m. all day until, and all night, until 6 a.m. the next day, Room service now is going to be a la carte. It's going to cost you oh. something, three, four, five dollars for those selections. And this is a change. Used to Carnival, of course, had. Well, there goes their three or five dollar tip. <laughs> if it was free, you'd tip them good. Free items, free food, maybe different. A different sandwiches, uh, BLT, peanut butter and jelly, cookies, chips, things like that. Now it's going to cost. Carnival says this is all part of their plan to cut back on food waste. They took a look at the data from 2021 50, 50%, and 2022, and they want to cut food waste. They do. Here's what they said right here. Effective with all cruises departing on or after October the 1st, 2022, we will be rolling out the expanded room service menu across our fleet in addition to the company. Also expanded. Because, I mean, let's be honest, maybe, for example, you've been down playing blackjack in the casino for like five hours. It's 2 a.m. Everything else is closed. You, 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 you've either <laughs> won and you want to celebrate or you've lost and you just want to eat food and binge since it's free. Uh, yeah, give me some of your uh, boneless wings. Honey, you want a hamber- two hamburgers, uh, order fries, some French fries, and what kind of, you know, if ching, 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 you're not. And because you order, you, you see people's trays out in, in the hallway. It's like you could go down mm-hmm. like a buffet oh, some yes. nights if so you didn't want to get a little gross food which is why they have to have the rat guards on the rope <laughs> so by having to pay for your room delivery you'll keep rats off the ship 
And they won't have to put those rat guards no. on the ropes anymore. But then you put somebody out of a job whose job it is to put the rat traps on the anchors. It's the circle. Oh, my God. Circle. Yeah. Like, well, then through breakfast selections, we will be adding choices uh, which reflect what we believe will meet more guest preferences. Now, is this even an issue to you? Room service is probably the least used or one of the least used services on board. There's a lot of people that I've cruised with over and over who they have never ever used together. room service. I love it in the mornings. I enjoy getting that coffee, getting a, a muffin in the mornings. But some people never ever use it at all. Let me ask you, Islanders, do you use room service? And what did you like to order up until now? Let us know in the comment section below. We to be clear, we never abuse room service like that, except on only rare occasion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you see the people that do it all the time. And so we, they ruin we, it for everybody else, those that abuse the system. That's why we can't have nice things. Like, if we have an early excursion on occasion, I'll order, like, the Danish pot of regular and a part of decaf. And some wheat toast, some rye toast, some jam, some jelly, a croissant. Um, fruit cup, omelet. No, um, omelets are not. Some uh, yogurt. Did, did you bring some yogurt too, please? A box of cereal. Anything else I didn't order? That'll be all. Thank you. And then, yeah, the occasional midnight snack. Like, let's say it's royal chocolate. For room service? Yes. Yes, I think you're right. Oh. What ship, what line has your favorite uh, room service if you take advantage of it? I mean, and they probably change, too. Oh, we would love to hear from you. Are you upset about these changes? Are you okay with them? They're small, actually, when it comes to changes uh, in, the, in the industry and onboard hey, experience. As long as it cuts all that food waste, just think of all the starving. Did your parents used to tell just, you that? There's, there's children. Start with a China, you finish your green yeah, beans, but clear it's your not plate. About that. I thought they wanted They're paying money, money for the food, therefore we're paying money right. for the food. It's part of the fair. So therefore, if there's less food waste, the fares will go not go up as quickly. But if they're not buying as much food, then the truckers that bring it from the farms, they won't need as many trucks, and then the farmers won't need as many employees because the amount of tomatoes they can sell is smaller, and then no. those people that work for them are going to be out of a job. No. But that is what it is. The second thing that Carnival announced and shared with us, that Seuss at Sea is coming back. This has been a big question for so many people. Uh, the Dr. Seuss green eggs and ham breakfast it's a fun experience i have pictures right here that i'll show you it used to be five dollars it looks like that's Our going to uh, stay the same yeah. it's coming back october 1st as well um kids and adults of course oh, can go see, to I this can't... uh those young at heart those who kids would love that have a fun yeah, that looks like fun. You can literally eat green eggs and ham that you can eat all good. kinds of funny styles different of food fun food it's good yeah, it's now, fun they have the characters the there's a parade that goes around the, the ship and and it, 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 hey, can you open that up to the adults? Could that be a theme? In the... of bad news. <laughs> you should probably go. Although, if, yeah, I'll identify uh, as a ten-year-old. It's good news. Carnival is raising its you prices say I'm a on Wi-Fi, ah. and all of us, I think, agree. Raise your price if you want to, Carnival, but make sure that what you offer is reflective of the raised price. Carnival shared Very that they're raising prices because their cost of internet is going up. The cost that they pay is going up. So they're passing that on to us cruisers. I think we're in agreement. We don't mind paying more if the service is good. You guys know I, I get the premium internet package when I cruise Carnival. So I can go live. I can update you and show you all about the ship. But if it's going to be what it has been, my goodness, there's got to be a limit to what they can charge. This all comes on the heels of maybe a bigger announcement. Uh, John Hill hinted at a bigger announcement uh, in the near future. Could that be SpaceX's Starlink internet? Royal Caribbean has shifted. Everybody's uh, going go to go to internet is no fast. Will Carnival use it? It's okay. The spot Carnival. beam satellite service okay has been to decent. Say Royal it Caribbean, depends. That was a good decision. Like when they finally got broadband, so like you could stream and stuff. Because mm -hmm. we were doing live streaming a year and a half, two years before COVID. They first upgraded the internet. That was fine. But now, with more people using the internet for video streams, yeah. Starlink's the only service viable. It's more than the Spectrum. In terms of bandwidth, it's crazy. 
They have 4,000 satellites in orbit right now, and I think they they get another 2,000, and they'll have total coverage of basic cable. Well, that. But they're doing a lot of polar ones now out of California. Starting coverage of areas. Did a beta test. Yeah, well, because Alaska. Decision. That's good that you're using Starlink. You can make that same decision. It's okay. We're not going to be mad. It is okay. Please, please, Starlink Internet. Choose it. Internet's going up. We're going to pay for it. But please, please, please be better. Carnival also announced. Let people pay by the bandwidth. You know, because if I'm just going to check my email and, you know, text message or messenger somebody, and then he's going to, and we're going to be, you know, streaming at five megabits a second. They sort of do. But I'm saying if you just bought a base, just internet access, you can do whatever you want on the internet. You do anywhere you're. So just have one plan. Yeah. And... But then it meters the amount, because if you're only like doing email, you know, you're going to be one kilobit per second. And then, but streamers and stuff, it's unfair. Like the little guys are paying for us and but Eric the, and everybody else. But we're also paying more for And then if you have kids and they all want their own plan, I'm telling you. And really, it was Alex, the cruise director on the Carnival Ecstasy. Let me show you these pictures. Atrium, deck, parties are <laughs> back. So many of you islanders love these parties. First off, they're inside. They're climate controlled. Some people don't like to be outside. It's off. humid. You sweat. Things like that. Some of you say the deck is slippery. We're, we're you don't break. like those deck parties. And there are still going to be those mega deck parties at the top on Lido Deck, but now it looks like the atrium parties have come back. The fun uh, that's right there in the atrium, you've got the bar close, the cruise director's usually on the bar dancing, you're having a great time. They're back, as Alex shows us on the Carnival Ecstasy, they look like so much fun. Have you ever attended an atrium deck party? Let us know in the comment section below. We would love to hear. We were on one, it was one of the last ones before COVID, it was on Royal. But they had like a string quartet, and then they were doing something like Pink Floyd or. No, no, no. that was Carnival Magic, and it's um, yeah. But it, they were doing like a like yeah the wall or something oh, like yeah. that. Like, yeah, yeah. I think they did a Michael Jackson. Yeah. It was, pretty... and after, there was no singer either. It was just the oh, instrument. Yeah. But a party party. Well, you have all those parties. Like, what's the atrium on an Oasis class ship? It's that whole promenade, right? The and promenade, yeah. So, yeah, we've been there. And we had the window looking right down. To hear from you, uh, Matt Meacham, who, of course, uh, held some awesome deck parties. Matt Meacham, there's news on Matt as he's going to be on the Love Boat TV show. Uh, remember, Matt left cruising. What? Left wait, 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 huh? wait. They're remaking Love Boat? I guess. Oh, we gotta go. Being on uh, really pre-COVID, you know, it was uh, he was very successful, very popular. He was on the horizon for so long. He said, "I'm leaving. I'm, you know, I'm out of here." But now he's on the Love Boat uh, show that's going to be coming on. And I know we have some fans of Matt. If you cruise with Matt, let us know. Uh, Matt is one of our good friends, and we hope. Nothing but the best and all the success. He has stayed engaged in the cruise uh, cruise industry and cruising and land-based cruising, having some of the same cruise activities, uh, just going to a resort in Mexico. We wish him the best. The show's going to be great. We can't wait for that. And I have to mention this about priority boarding. So many of us, including myself, are, are wondering, when is it coming back? What does it look like? Remember, currently, Don They don't have priority boarding still. Yeah, it's all... Or by what time? Regardless of the status. Schedule. And then a platinum yeah. guest, you get to check in 16 days before your cruise. Some people are happy with that. They say, that's fine. Don't change anything. Some people want that priority boarding when you're in the terminal. And they say, all diamond and platinum guests, you can now board. Some people want that traditional way of boarding. Right really? now, remember, when you show up, the only priority boarding you get, remember those sweet guests? The sweet guest. Get the board before anyone else. Carnival right now, honestly, is putting money. Well, we're going to have to upgrade to the sweet light. Oh. Money for that individual cruise over loyalty. I know they want to say, no, we're not doing that. But when you cruise right now, they say, we want.
Why should us, the upper tier of cruises, have to board with just the regular normal people? Isn't it fair? I mean, what's so special about us elite people that we we can't? Doesn't everybody get on? They don't do they don't do the priority board. I know that. That's like the lead. That's the upper level of the right. group of people on the ship. Why should why should they get above just the the poor people that are just trying to cruise the first time? It's a <laughs> loyalty to the party. Oh, oh there's God. the dog. Uh, Randy, come here. Sit. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Randy, come. <laughs> and we have a minute and a half to go. All right. Um, yeah, it's a reward for loyalty. But the way they're doing it now is only the success are getting priority. Everybody else, it's based on what you sign up for a time. You show up at your time, you go on board. I just think we're all created equal. Agile. Then it would just be first come, first serve, and that would be a madhouse. Which it was kind of the first time we cruised. Exactly. Which is why we yeah. wanted to have priority boarding, because then you could go in that little separate room and not have to stand around with all those people. With all the commoners, all the yes. common people. You ever hear that song by Pulp and then William Shatner redid yes. it? Let's let uh, Derek finish up. Thanks. Come on, sweet guest on board. And after they board, then it's A1, which is usually the diamond and platinum guest, A2, A3, of course, and so forth. Priority boarding, it's coming back, whatever it's going to look like. John Hill hinted at this. He said, the, he said the beards know this is important to diamond and platinum guests, and they hope to have something. This royal or carnival. I don't know what that something. Before my brother started the car. Oh, that was fine. John Hill hinted at this. He said, the, he said the beards know this is important to diamond and platinum guests. And they hope to have something soon for us. I don't know what that something will be. What do you want it to look like? Are you now, is this royal or carnival? Lisa? Fine with the current situation. What's royal then? They sell that in the priority boarding. Yeah. Having two extra days to check in before everyone else. Or do you want to get there and hear them say, Diamond, Platinum, come on, let's go. You're going before anybody else. hard for that. Let us know in the awesome. comment section. We lost a lot of money. <laughs> I already printed the um the luggage tags. Carnival. They say priority. Huh? Maybe it's the luggage. <laughs> Don't lose this, please. It's priority. Uh, get it to. Has all of her oh. rum runners in it, carrying her whiskey. No. I'm thinking it's about me. I cannot wait to hear from you. Islanders, I hope you have a great day. I'm going back downstairs to watch college game day. The Razorbacks come on at 11. Amanda Roll Tide. I'm currently working on day, booking cruises. I'm going to pick up, pick up my computer time. and send those quotes out and book those cruises. Let us know if you need help. We would love to help you. And I want to invite you as well. Yeah. If you're new to the show, you've seen the show before, but you haven't subscribed, please consider thumbs up. subscribing. Like, thumbs up. Where's the thumbs up? I don't know. There it is. Oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. Oh, come on. Oh, is there a delay? There's. Uh, oh. Uh, 350. 352. Okay, there's your uh, 350. Yeah. You know, if you have friends maybe that are first time cruisers, send the people like uh, like yeah. Derek and his wife and uh, Don or Jenny and Tony. Actually, send them a video of one of these guys and gals and then say, here, talk to these people. I can interview this. All right, island time. He's at, oh, oh he's getting close to 13,000. He's getting close. I think I've actually looked at Eric's first ones. Like, but it was, was, yeah, I think he. Now we're getting okay. Then. okay. All right, I don't think every interface is, I'm not sure I'm ready to go back now then. Seven months ago. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but I think this long ago he wasn't. Doing it. And, and um, this is eight months ago. He's going to get a thousand views, three thousand. This oh, is this the bottom from ten months ago? There. 
Okay, we're into a year ago now. Still in the and in the final, he must have started. He started before COVID, right? Weren't we launching him before COVID? During COVID, that's when he started doing the daily thing. Because like him and Tony were one of the first people to just start doing the daily thing for news sort of content. One hundred eighty-three, fifty-five, twenty-five. That's a good jump. 180, 200, 270. What question? Yeah. Did he? I wonder if he did. So this is the first one. Deleted stuff from before? I don't. Um, this might be it. Let's. Uh, okay. As as Derek to wear? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I have a lot of these shirts, by the way. This is not like the same shirt. They're the shirts that look like this are the same mm -hmm. material. Or my purple or one. All right, let's see. Um, Derek's oh, oh, nice. nice green screen. Nice green screen. Oh, Bill uh, Buffer. Oh, no. He's been, I can't believe he's showing it. Sure is one away from the CDC has cruiser clock. So he's using a green screen, but he's doing it well. You, you don't see any. Me, it, oh. Is it us? It's us, honey. God, it's about the possibility. I mean, you tell it, his mic is picking up the room. Cruising you hear the echo. Very, very soon. But will those cruises be vaccinated passengers? He's got the camera lined up pretty good. Or a lot of people do too far up or. Let's talk about it. Uh, hey, for the first time video, at least, that's still public. Uh, D E R E K. A lot of people think I spelled terrible. Okay, we are on Island Time. Island Time. We try to do it all the time. Okay, today <laughs> let's talk about something that everyone's talking about. Okay, it's a year ago, and right? That is yeah. number one. When's cruising going to resume? And number two, what will it look ago. like? We know last week the CDC came out, and all of us were. Going well, I think they would list. It could be a year and nine months, but after you get that part, it'll be a year ago, year ago, then two years ago, two years ago. Right. I'm just saying, if cruising has at least cruising restarted in like June-ish of last year. Oh, wait a minute. Do you think that is a green screen, or did he get like a picture blown up and put it on the wall? Uh, it's got to be a green screen. Or because they said cruise operations could resume in the United States if 98 percent. Of crew were vaccinated, and 95% of passengers were vaccinated. Okay, there's all kinds of questions about those numbers. We will find out more about it very soon. But everyone was excited, and everyone assumed that that cruise line would take this option and skip the test selling so they could cruise again in the United States. Okay, I have one of those. I hope maybe that's what happened. Uh, but we're going to see. Okay, we're booked. July 24th in the Carnival Vista, which just returned to Galveston uh, this past weekend. And we'll see what happens, okay? But now, all of a sudden, the CDC now comes out and says, talk the brakes a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty good for first-time video up there. Yeah, because he's uh, going back and looking at, can fit into the where they are, how they get there, where, you know, where were they then sort of thing. Yeah. Oh. It, you know who's like the goddess, though? Who? Oh, yes. Because, I mean, she was doing this before anybody. Oh, look, you can yeah. see. She started, she started just before we did. Because her and her husband had got that set all set up and had come up with the color schemes and stuff. Yeah. Just, but, I mean, she was already like, doing her yeah. thing and stuff. Like, she's probably like the queen of. Yep. One of the OG. One, one of the OG. OG cruise Even uh, sea cruisers. Yeah. She's OG. Yeah. All right. Love you. Uh, you got enough material? Yep. Cool. I'm leaving. Yeah, the oldest one year ago. Hmm. All right, so here's, that's his old background. He did a lot of mm -hmm. shows with this uh, green screen. And then, there, this is like the first time they have this, at least in the summer. When was the last time you ever saw a woman with her? Um, oh, to all of you, I don't know. Hi, Derek. 
But she, yeah. she when they cleansed, she. Uh, but she used to be on there a lot. You can see her in all these thumbnails from a year or from a long time ago. She's a teacher, so it's probably seasonal or something. Come on. So this is cool. He still hasn't got a mic. He can still hear. He's using the camera mic or whatever. Yeah. You got the idea for the set in the background. Camera angle. So, so cool. All right. Bye. Go see Mama. Bye. Mama, I want to stay on YouTube. Look at me. I'm streaming, Mama. I'm a stream machine. Mama, <laughs> have you checked out my Twitch channel, Mama? Come on. Let's go. Follow me on YouTube. Put Rumble. Down. Get my Instagram. Put them down. All right. Go away, Jimmy Chonga. He didn't want to leave. He loves me. He just wanted to be outside.